much. So thank you. Thank Happy you. Father's Day to you once again. Same to you, sir. Same to you. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank God. Still oh, nice. Yeah, we bless God for that. How was your day today? <laughs> wow, it's been great there. Uh, the joy of being a father. Yes. Yeah, it's a time for us to just reminisce mm -hmm. as a father, mm -hmm. to reflect and just to look back. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. Uh, to, that means we should examine ourselves. Yes, uh, yes. To know if we are still on the right track. Yes. If we have lost track, then we can easily or quickly retrace our steps. Great, so, great. You know, thank God for today. Thank God for the wife and children. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The, one of the reasons why I brought you on this platform is um, we used to go to church together. You know, I want yeah. just want to know. And uh, we used to be in the same men's ministry to, before, okay? Yeah. And this, this is really weird. And now you and I, we both have men's ministries in the same city, <laughs> but we moved from where we were before. Yeah. I be. yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. And yeah. you run a ministry called Men's Empowerment Network, right? Yeah. Now, talk to us a little bit about that. What do you do with that Men's Empowerment Network to those that don't know? So, thank you so much. I just first of all, my name is Ademola James. Yeah, I'm based in Wolverhampton, England, UK. For those who are watching outside the UK, yeah, yeah. Here, I founded or the Lord led me to start Men's Empowerment Network. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the purpose that one of the reasons that led me to that was because of, you know, when I look at men around me, either before I left Nigeria, I came to UK, or even in the UK, I realized that a lot of men have got a long way to go. So, and obviously, you and I have sat down under the teaching of Pastor Gideon Modede for years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I left Northampton and I moved to Wolverhampton, mm -hmm. I just you know, in the place of prayer. And I came to Wolverhampton and I saw the same thing happening with men I met in Wolverhampton or men I relate with. I And the Lord ministered the ministry to me and we started it. And basically, the vision is just to equip and empower men. Mm -hmm. It's all about equipping them and empowerment because I believe that men need them. To, we need to equip our men. Mm -hmm. We need to empower our men, mm -hmm. empower them to become what God has created them to be, mm -hmm. empower them to take their place. So one of the things we do with Men's Empowerment Network is that we I usually organize something I call Men to Men Breakfast Meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's, a, it's an interdimensional ministry, it's a kingdom ministry. We, we tend to do it every three, three months. And basically it's because there are so many churches at hand and we don't want any sort of animosity or conflict. And also to also give space for timing so that we can have time to plan the next one. So the men to men breakfast meeting is actually old every three, three months. Mm -hmm. So and where we get men to gather on a Saturday morning for, from eight o'clock to 11.30. And I know it's very, very difficult to get men to a breakfast meeting, eight o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, to come and have a breakfast and meet other men is a yeah. very, very difficult task. That, but we that. thank God that for the last five years, God yeah. has been helping us. Because a lot of men at that eight o'clock, is either they are still on bed or they are just coming back from work, mm -hmm. you know. But I know about if it is football, it will be easy for them to get up bed and mm -hmm. watch that football. But mm -hmm. we felt like eight o'clock should be ideal. Inside so the, that they can go back yes. to their to their family and do other things. So, mm -hmm. and in the last five years, God has been faithful. Mm -hmm. You know, God has been wonderful, and men have been a lot of them have given testimony. And some of the topics because we treat different topics, and mm -hmm. I bring in different men, uh, professionals, uh, mm -hmm. those who are in ministry, bring them to come and speak to these men to empower them and uh, to keep them for one reason. Mm -hmm. for national transformation. Mm -hmm. the, our nation, our world needs transformation. And mm -hmm. I so much believe that that transformation mm -hmm. will definitely and must come through the men when mm -hmm. they take their place. 
when they are well equipped. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. So yeah. on that subject of men, why why do you think it's very important to do especially like the men's empowerment network for the men? Um, because <clears throat> today we're talking about Father's Day, right? Mm. Uh, why do you think this is so key for us to be communicating certain things to our men in this generation? Okay, thank you. Uh, if you look at the world generally, if you look at our world, especially in the church, uh, men ministry are not common. We don't have more of men's ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, all over the world, you have thousands of women ministry. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, in the last probably eight years or ten years ago, we've mm -hmm. seen men ministry either independent or church based start mm -hmm. coming up now. And mm -hmm. the, the reason we need to have as many mm -hmm. men's ministry now yeah. is because. Like I said earlier, men need to be empowered mm -hmm. from time to time. Yes, yes. They need to constantly be reminded of their purpose, their calling, their assignment, their mm -hmm. position. Mm -hmm. They need to, they need that constant. They, they need that every now and then. Mm -hmm. So men ministry is very very important. Yes, you know sometimes people say, "But churches have men ministry." I agree, but I've come to realize that most church ministry are not really that strong. Mm. Because a pastor needs to minister to everybody every Sunday. Probably once in a year, the pastor will minister to, to the man. Probably mm -hmm. once in a year, around his father's time, you know, around his father's day celebration. Yeah. But men ministry is very, 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 very essential mm -hmm. and important that men need to understand their position, their calling, their purpose. So mm -hmm. we need to, there's so much work to be done. When it comes to men, you know, uh, sometimes people say, man, you're too good with some men. No, you know, it's good for us to be rigid with some men mm -hmm. because if people have been rigid to someone like me when I was really young, probably I'll be more better than where I am now. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I like so, that. I like that. Yeah. And yeah. So, you know, so we need to really take our men, we need to let them know that they've got a big assembly, they've got work to do. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so it's very, very important that we, we, we have men ministry. You know, as okay. many as possible. That's that's good. My question that's coming to my heart is this: I should ask you this. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me, why do you think it's really important for a man to have a purpose and a vision? Well, uh, let me use word of Doctor Let Mike Smuro said: uh, "Without purpose, abuse is inevitable." Mm -hmm. You know, if you are a man, you don't know your purpose in life. You are a dead man walking. Mm, walking you know? dead. <laughs> yeah, you're a walking dead. <laughs> you're a dead man. You're a dead, you are already dead, but you are still walking. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. So, purpose is so essential. Purpose is so important mm -hmm. because it is discovering your purpose, knowing your purpose, mm -hmm. that will give you fulfillment in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of men use different things mm -hmm. to get fulfillment. Yes. But fortunately, you will not get fulfillment outside your purpose. Mm. You know, men use sex to get fulfilled. Yeah. Even men use their job, money, cars, probably designer shirts mm -hmm. to get to get fulfilled. But mm -hmm. you can never use all those things to fill that void that God has yeah. put there. Yeah. So it is really essential for men to have purpose and to have vision. Mm -hmm. Because the truth of the matter is that as a man, for example, if you're a father or you're even a man, a young guy, mm -hmm. you don't know where you're going. The Bible says, how can the blind lead the blind? Mm -hmm. You don't know where you're going in the next 5, 10 years, 20 years time, and you want to get married to a sister. Wow. And which is disaster about to happen. Mm -hmm. Because a woman is coming to help you with something. Mm -hmm. And you don't have that thing. So, she will just get confused. Mm -hmm. So, men need vision. Mm -hmm. They need something to keep them going. You know, they need, they need something to look forward to. So, mm -hmm. purpose and vision is so essential. And mm -hmm. I talk about this most times mm -hmm. to men. That mm -hmm. the first thing you want to look for in life is vision. You know, no women. Get your vision first. Mm -hmm. Now set the vision to the woman. Mm -hmm. Discover your purpose. Mm -hmm. Discovering your purpose is all about discovering you. Mm -hmm. Who you are. 
what God has called you to do, what assignment has He given you on this art to fulfill? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so essential that men, we need to discover our purpose and begin to develop ourselves and begin to, you know, deploy that purpose to serve humanity. Our yeah. purpose is so essential. We need to discover it. And the only person to discover it is from God mm -hmm. in the place of prayer. Yes. Studying his word. God will tell you. And mm. your passion will lead you to your purpose. The things you love to do most will lead you to your purpose. Mm. And that is that is what gives your life a true meaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. Thank you, sir. So now, let's talk a little bit about mentorship. You know, because I know you do a bit of mentorship and coaching and stuff like that. Tell me, why is it why is it you think that's key for a man to be mentored, to be coached? And, you know, and can you break it down the difference between mentorship and coaching so that, you know, we can have an understanding of how that works and why it's important for men to be to be mentored or coached? Um, let me just quickly say something about mentorship. Mentorship is somebody that, that leads, that shows you the way, you know, uh, something they have gone through something they have achieved, something mm -hmm. they have accomplished, and you are you are just starting. So you need a mentor that's going to put you into the way. You know, uh, so, uh, somebody said, a mentorship is knowledge without pay. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you, 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 somebody has already paid the price mm -hmm. for what you are actually you needed. So you need a, a mentor to actually mentor you in that particular way. Mm -hmm. For example, probably in ministry or in money, or in yeah. finances or in business. Mm -hmm. So you need a mentorship. For example, you are just starting ministry or you want to do a particular area of ministry. Mm -hmm. You need somebody in that area that has done it and have yeah. probably achieved, accomplished something to actually put you through. Now, what a coach does for you, that a coach mm -hmm. helps you to set goals, a coach helps you to go in the right path. You know, a coach doesn't answer the question for you, but mm -hmm. a coach helps you to, it probes you because coaching by asking you questions. Mm -hmm. And as a coach asking questions, he has you to bring something that is already inside of you. He has you to bring it out. Mm. You know, for example, you want to achieve something in the next two years. You know, you cannot, you can get a coach. You know, a coach will begin to guide you, ask you questions, and that will help you to mm -hmm. achieve that particular, that particular goal. And that's mm -hmm. why I encourage a lot of people to, to have a coach, have a coach to, to help you. In that particular thing you want to achieve, yeah. you know, and a coach don't look into the into the past, you know, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's very different from a counselor. You know, counselor yes. focus on the past, but a coach focus on the future. Mm -hmm. You know, they look into the future, they look at what are the things that's available, what are the things you have on ground, and they help you to bring those things inside of you. And it's yeah. all about probing as well. so there are two different things between a mentorship, a mentor, and a coach. Mm -hmm. So, 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 why is it key for men to be mentored and to be coached? Well, you see, men need to be accountable to somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, you need somebody that you need to. You need somebody that's going to mentor you so that you don't you avoid certain mistakes in life. Mm -hmm. You know, life is too short for us to be learning by mistake. Someone said, "Experience is the best teacher," but it's only when it's from somebody and not from you. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. how long will you be making a mistake? You know, mm -hmm. uh, John Mukdok said something, said you can either learn by mistakes or by mentorship. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe that life is too short for you to be learning by mistake every now and then. Mm -hmm. But you can also learn from a mentor. So men need to have mentor because it guides you. Mm -hmm. It shows you the way. You have a pattern you want to follow. You have somebody that you are accountable, somebody that check on you, somebody that can ask you, have you done this, have you done that? Mm -hmm. You know, somebody that can show you the way, you know, the way you are just starting, mm -hmm. you know, and somebody, somebody that can also put you in check, put you in balance. Yes. You yes. know, and a man that does not have a mentor is set for disaster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a man, you don't have a mentor, you don't have somebody that's covering you, you are set for disaster. Okay. Okay. Can you can you explain? Can you expound on that, sir? Um, you see, in my short little life I've lived on this earth, mm -hmm. I have seen men that you can't talk to them. Mm. You know, you can't talk to them. Nobody can talk to them. 
you know, and there are so many factors to that ego and every other thing. They can you can't talk to them. And I pity such men mm. that because if you can't talk to a man to sit yeah. down or you can't talk to a man to actually yeah. engage with them or profess solution, you mm -hmm. know, it becomes a problem. Yeah. Because you know, you just go to eventually lead to destruction. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you look at marriages. You've seen marriages whereby a, the husband doesn't have a mentor, doesn't have someone that talk to him, someone mm -hmm. that can actually sit him down. You know, and eventually when the marriage breaks, if you trust it back, you realize yeah. that it is the man that is the issue. Wow. Because nobody's actually speaking into his life. Mm -hmm. Nobody's actually talking to him. So mm -hmm. and that's the disaster. And that's why it is very, very imperative mm -hmm. that men have mentor, have somebody in your life, somebody mm -hmm. that your wife can call at the end of the day. Because let me say something to you. A man has a king and a fool in him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A man, as we, are, we have a king and, and we also have fool in us. Wow. You know, so as so and women want security. So mm -hmm. if one day, if one day the your wife or someone around you speak to the fool inside of you and the fool comes out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there should be somebody at the, at the end of the phone that they can call. <laughs> And they can yeah. put it into order. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's uh, why I tell women sometimes learn how to speak to the king inside the man every time. Yeah. <laughs> if you go and if you go and speak to the fool, and the fool comes out, you know, you, you will not find this funny. But if wow. the person has somebody can call over the phone, like a mentor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at least the fool can actually calm down. Yes. So yes. It's very very important that you see we can overestimate it, we can underestimate it. Yes. Men just need mentor in their life. Just look for a mentor. Ask mm -hmm. God to lead you to somebody. Mm -hmm. In any area you want someone to mentor you, just, there are so many mentors around. Mm. You know, thank you. Wow. So in a nutshell, what is your advice to men right now in this um, season as fathers? What is your advice to them? What is it that they should do in order for them to become better husbands, better fathers, you know, since we are in lockdown? And I know some some men might not have the experience as to yeah. you know train their children, you know, be yeah. there their wives. And what is your advice? What is the medicine? Well, number one is if you are not saved, the first thing is for you to be saved. That is the starting point. Okay. Saved means salvation. Be born again. That's the starting point. Because mm -hmm. when when a man is not born again, he's not saved. That's another story for another day. You know, mm -hmm. the first thing is have God mm -hmm. receive Christ into your life, be born again. Number two is that you need the Holy Spirit in you. Because when you get born again, you receive the Spirit, the Holy Spirit inside of you. Mm -hmm. And it begins to stay and abide in you. The number mm -hmm. three is that, you know, the word and, yeah. the, and prayer. Mm -hmm. The word and prayer. Mm -hmm. The word and prayer, mm -hmm. which is the Bible. Mm. Be a student of the word mm -hmm. because it's from the word of God you get wisdom, you mm. get understanding, you get knowledge mm -hmm. to run your home, to lead your home. In this season, for men, be faithful, be available. Mm -hmm. You know, be available, be always there for your wife and for your children. Be yeah. a trustworthy man, be mm -hmm. a trustworthy father. Most mm -hmm. men today are not trustworthy. Mm -hmm. You know, honor your wife, honor your children, honor God. Mm. honor God, honor mm. your wife honor your children, honor those people God has placed in your life mm. Mm. there mm. are people that God has placed in your life, honor them mm -hmm. you know, yeah. honor Pastor, them Pastor, Pastor Dimola I, 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 you know, sorry, sorry to cut you off I want to know practically how can you explain that honor to men, how can they practically you know, show someone that they honor that person yeah, it's, a, it's just a form of respect. Mm. It's a form of respect. It's a form of listening to them. Mm -hmm. You know, you honor them by actually respecting them. Just the way we honor God. Mm -hmm. You know, respect them. You know, also let them know that you honor them. Mm -hmm. Communicate mm -hmm. to them. You know, listen to them and let them also, you need it's something that you need to express that you honor honor them. Just like, for example, if you want to, you want to prove that you honor your wife, how do you talk to your wife? How do you relate with your wife? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. when, when your wife asks you to help her do something, how do you respond? 
Yes, yes. You know, you know, do you do it shabbily or do you do it excellently? Mm-hmm. You know, so you know, um, you, your wife's birthday, how do you what kind of gifts do you get to your wife? Because all these things shows that you honor, you honor them. The mm-hmm. same thing as when people God plays some certain people in your life. Yeah, you know, once in a while you can give them a call just to let them know that you honor them, send a message. You know, mm-hmm. when you when you encourage your wife or your daughter or your son. It shows that you actually honor them as well. Mm, so mm. this is a little practical example we can show that we honor people. Mm. No, that's really good. That's really good. So before before I let you go, sir, what is it that you just want to say? What are the, the the words of wisdom that you might have for men that you know you just feel like I think if a man knows this, if they get this right, their lives will never be the same. What would that be? There's nothing much I need to say than just have God in your life. Mm-hmm. You see, he is the Alpha and Omega. He is God all in all. Without him, we can do nothing. There's nothing you want to achieve on this earth outside of God. Mm-hmm. You can't achieve anything outside of God. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I will just say to men out there, submit to the headship of Christ. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't, if you don't submit to the headship of Christ, mm-hmm. you will find it difficult to be head of your wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember, the Bible says, "Husband is the head of the wife, and Christ yes. is the head of the husband." Yes. So, mm-hmm. if you don't know what it means to submit under the lordship of Jesus Christ, it will be difficult for you to be head of your wife. It will even be difficult. You, you can't even expect your wife. To submit to you when you don't know how to submit to Christ. Mm-hmm. 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 So I encourage men, just submit yourself to the headship of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Because you know, when you submit yourself to his headship, you have wisdom, you have understanding, you have knowledge, you mm-hmm. have direction, you have guidance. All yes. these things coming the mm-hmm. way you want to lead yourself. Lead your own, lead your wife, lead your children, lead the community, even lead the nation. Mm-hmm. So at this time, if a man is there, you are yet to be saved, you are yet to know Christ. Don't postpone the day of your salvation till tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now is that day of salvation. Receive right. Christ mm-hmm. and you will see things falling around. Mm-hmm. The things that you, you, the mundane things that you put priority on, we change. Yes, yes. Your priorities will change mm-hmm. because you will discover your purpose, you discover your assignment, you will, you will, you will, you will get vision. Mm-hmm. And those, those things will give you direction, will give you a new direction in wow. life. Wow. Yeah, that's that's good. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Wow. That, that I'm feeling, you know, the vibe. Thank you so much for, for your wisdom and everything that you're giving unto us. So, yeah. Um, okay, I still got four minutes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask another question, if you don't mind, sir. Um, to a, a woman that's struggling right now with their, their men, their husband right now, and they feel like, okay, maybe um, my husband don't get me or um, he doesn't really understand what I need from him and they're not meeting each other's needs. What kind of wisdom you can give to the men right now that are in that predicament? To the women? Yeah. I think the first thing... To assist the men to get to a place where they understand each other. Yeah. Yeah. I think the first thing we need to look at is, are they born again? Are they Christian? Because some of the things I want to say will sound mm-hmm. a little bit spiritual, but they are practical as well. Right. Because if they if both of them are not born again, it's only but if the wife is born again, praise God. Yeah. Number one is that you start from the place of prayer. Yeah. That is the first thing. You start from the place of prayer. You go on your nail, you go to God mm-hmm. that actually created that man. Mm-hmm. The Bible says the art of a king is in the hands of God. Mm-hmm. So you go to God in the place of prayer and mm-hmm. you commit his art to God first. You know, you go to God and ask God to begin to speak with him. Then two is for you to now take a step to now sit him down and have a word with him. Mm-hmm. Remember, 
a, I say that a soft word, a soft answer, turn, turn away wrath. Mm -hmm. How do you approach him? The way you approach him goes a long way as well. Remember, yeah. you have prayed. Mm -hmm. Once you have prayed, God has taken, mm -hmm. has taken over his heart. Yes, you know, yes. But you can't go there and mess it up. Mm -hmm. You know, don't mm -hmm. go and speak to the fool inside the man. <laughs> inside the man no. You are going there to speak to the king. In yes. Him. Yeah. You know, when a king sits on the throne, you know, and a king, mm -hmm. and you go to a king to receive something, there's yeah. a way you elogize that king. Right. When you elogize a king, his mm -hmm. head swells up, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and the next thing that, like, just like Extra and the king, yeah. the question would be, what do you want? So mm -hmm. you go to your husband as a king and you place your request, Yeah. you know, and what? you speak. Let him know your need. Let yes. him know the things that are shortcoming and mm -hmm. how you want him to actually respond, you know, to be of great help, probably the house, whatever. And also, if the man does not have a cover over him, mm -hmm. encourage him mm -hmm. to look for somebody that can be a role model to him. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. Somebody that can learn from. That's good. You that's know, good. You yes. know, if, if he doesn't know, if you know somebody you respect him, somebody you know, mm -hmm. you know, recommend that person to your husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if okay. your husband doesn't have anybody, but mm -hmm. you know somebody that if your husband can be get close to this person, my husband will change. There will be changes. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and those things you desire to happen with Apple. What yes. do you do? Recommend that person to your husband. Yes. You yes. know, yeah. Re recommend that person to your husband. You mm -hmm. know, initiate it and yeah. let your husband have it. You know, and also as well, uh, mm -hmm. don't treat him like a child. <laughs> don't treat him like a son. Because men don't want, they don't want mothers. Yeah. They want yeah. wives. They want wives, wives are not, they are not, wives are not mothers. Mm -hmm. They are wives. <laughs> you know, so don't talk to him until you are talking to your son. You know, <laughs> you know because yeah. men, men will protect their ego. Yeah. Men will protect their ego. So it's very important you speak to the king inside of him. And, yeah. you know, speaking communication is really, really key. Don't Amen. just pray and leave it. No, after you've prayed, go and have a word with him and Amen. see what God will do. And thank you. It will return to testimony. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.